Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about clearance. Being one of the important topic of pharmacokinetics or general pharmacology, this particular question can be asked in any short of examination. It is one of the hot topic for undergraduate and postgraduate. Now to understand clearance, we need to understand the plasma concentration and the rate of concentration. As we know that there are many drugs and of those drugs there are many doses form also. We need different doses form in different situations. Different dose form is preferred in different type of situations. So if we need the prompt action, we need a particular dose form which gives the faster onset of action. And we have many parameters which affect the behavior of a particular drug or the doses form. And that is called factors of drug distribution. There are mainly four types of factors which affect the behavior of the drug and that is clearance, the volume of the solution, the elimination half-life and the balance. Now the clearance is in brief can be called as the elimination of drug, the volume of distribution is total or uh, it's like apparent space where the uh, drug gets distributed. The elimination half life is the rate at which the drug is removed from the body and the bioavailability is the fraction of the drug which is which is available for the action. So to start with clearance we have we have to understand the movement of the drug. Now what is clearance? Clearance is the volume of plasma from which the drug is uh, removed in unit time. Now we need to understand this. It is not the amount of drug. It is the volume of the plasma which gets cleared off from the drug. And that is clearance. So if we have V volume of plasma and if we give V amount of drug to the total drug in that volume of plasma is V. Now the formula for clearance is rate of elimination divided by plasma concentration and it is expressed in milliliter per minute. Now say if we give 50 milligram of drug, the total plasma concentration is cleared is 500, 5 milligram per milliliter. 5 milligram per milliliter and this, this becomes a plasma concentration. Now if it passes through an organ or tissue or system, if there is elimination from that organ or tissue at the rate of 0.5 mg per minute, this becomes rate of elimination. And the resulting plasma concentration would be lesser because of this elimination. Now if we divide this, divided by this, we get clearance. So it is 0.5 mg per minute, that is rate of elimination, divided by 5 mg per milliliter it becomes 0.1 milliliter per minute of clearance. Now, what is plasma concentration? To understand this plasma con concentration, or better to say, to understand this clearance, we need to understand, understand plasma concentration and rate of elimination. Plasma concentration is the, is the amount of drug in a plasma and plasma concentration. Say volume of plasma which is utilized for estimation of drug concentration, we say it is Vp in milliliter. And say there is x amount of drug in that volume of the plasma. So we can calculate here that in 1 ml of plasma how much drug is there. So it becomes x amount of drug divided by Vp ml of plasma into 1. And the unit for this would be milligram per milliliter. Now let's see how the plasma concentration is calculated. Say we have uh, 5000 ml of blood in the body and we give 50 milligram of blood. So we have 5000 ml of blood containing 50 milligram of blood. Now say we withdraw 5 ml of blood sample. 
find out the plasma concentration and now out of which plasma is separated. Say we get 2 ml of plasma and say there is 10 milligram of blood in that plasma. So in 1 milliliter how much drug will be there? So it will be 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 milligram of blood. The plasma concentration would be 5 milligram of blood in 1 ml of plasma. So here we can see the milligram per ml is the unit of plasma concentration. So out of uh, this, uh, now we see how the rate of elimination is calculated. Now, 50 milligram of drug is given. It creates a plasma concentration of 5 milligram per milliliter. It crosses or uh, gets distribution to organ and tissue from which, at the rate of 0 0.5 milligram per minute is the elimination and the resulting plasma concentration is 2 mg per ml. Now this rate of elimination is straightforward is the rate of elimination of 0.5 mg per ml. Now with this we can easily calculate the clearance. From slide number 7 we got that rate of elimination is 0.5 mg per ml and from slide number 6 plasma concentration what we got is 5 mg of drug per ml, that is 5 mg per ml. Now the clearance would be the 0 0.5 mg per minute, that is rate of elimination, and the plasma concentration is 5 mg per minute. Now with cross multiplication, this and this clears off, and milliliter will go up, so the eventual result would be 0 0.1 milliliter per minute, which is clearance. So hope it was a easy task to understand the clearance